All right, the lift is in and good to go. So we're gonna get the bread in here, do a front wheel drive delete on it. I just bought some new sunnies here and look what I found under the Beretta. <laughs> Maybe an exercise in futility. We're gonna see if we can drive this thing into the garage. Uh, that, that's if it comes out of park. Don't have brakes worth of shit. <laughs> Stuck in park. <laughs> this is so annoying, you'd almost want to put it in the junkyard. The place it's been the last four years. It is a Chevy. I know. It's an <laughs> automatic, that's the problem. <laughs> Got that fixed though. Got the bow tie on it, that's the problem. What if we rock the car at all? Well, it's not in there because it's the park hall itself. That it gets locked up. That feels like it's still locked pretty good. No, it's that didn't do anything. It just So this here is my wheel bearing holder together er because they uh, will fall apart in no time if not. Cut it off the snout of the axle here and for right now I took the bucket that's on the back side of it and uh, put that in the transmission to keep ATF from getting everywhere because I think we're going to have to pull this thing out a couple times. Um, but we're starting the front wheel drive disassembly. So the main reason we're doing this right now is because with the uh, axle unhooked it does not matter if this thing's stuck in park. Okay, here we go. The zero wheel drive Beretta on the lift. I see all sorts of stuff here that needs to go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Beretta. Automatic. <coughs> V6, adios. There's my wheel bearing keeper together, er. And I think what I'm gonna do is take that to the lathe at work, because that is gonna rotate at wheel speed and uh, make sure that's nice and true so it doesn't create a vibration or anything. But uh, it will work for right now. I just had to get one side unhooked so that we're zero wheel drive. That stupid open diff means we can push it wherever we need to now, not have to fight the park pin. Okay, it's in park. There's that stupid open diff for you. Spinning my nub here. I will say I'm a little sad, I never did burnouts in this thing, but that park pin was annoying the piss out of me to get this thing to move at all. So uh, it is what it is. Now it's zero wheel drive. Starting tear down here. 
this area is going to be a little problematic. I'm going to have to reconfigure, probably cut these structural bolts out and do something else because uh, that bell housing has got to fit through there. And that's going to be too tight. This is only the second time in my life I've used a lift. I'm already loving it. Uh, I have figured out one thing though. When a nut falls, like this ball joint nut here, man, it falls a long way and it will roll all over this place. This thing was over by the door. That's that nasty ATF. It's poison! So, urban legend here has always been that a 3.4 swap is kind of pointless if you use the 3.1 downpipe because they're double wall. And holy shit, look at how much smaller that is. Oh my god. Well, I think I'm good now to get this auto garbage out of here. Let's see what I forgot. A bunch of ground wires in the VSS. I don't really care about those. I knew there'd be something. The brake booster hose I forgot to undo. All right, this garbage is going bye-bye forever. Especially this part. I mean, 3-1, eh, not bad. This trash though, this is a 4T60E. I had one of my old black Z26. They rob a bunch of power, they don't hold up, they're freaking junk. Goodbye. Here's where that 4.8's gotta go. Steering rack has to go, obviously, that ain't gonna work. Uh, HVAC, brake booster, all that, that's got to go. But uh, there is room for a 4.8 in there. The transmission tunnel, I'm going to have to do some serious cutting. <laughs> I don't think this will work. But we're going to do a science experiment. Look at that no science experiment. Way. Jesus Christ, how is that happening? It don't There's still some cords showing, I guess, in there. It don't stay up long. Wow. Look at that, Eric. I never would have guessed that in a million years. In a couple <laughs> hours, in a couple hours, it'll be flat again. But so, even though it was a Beretta on the lift, are you reasonably happy with the lift here? Yeah, hell yeah, awesome. Very nice. Put Mopar stuff on there. Yeah. Out the left. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mopar. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Mopar. This Look at the Mopar really tire sweet. blew up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, these are close here. Gonna throw the motor on. Using this slanted hole in the quarter workbench from a Mopar. Got it. <laughs> Tightening up the last lines. So we're good there. All we got to do is put electric to it and fill it up with uh, yep. hydraulic fluid, and it's pretty much ready to go. It's been a while. Sat outside for almost a year. Well, from March to, March to November. January. March to November. All right, we're good, huh? Very nice. What do we got here? We got a lift that works. Among all these Mopars that don't work. <laughs> 